All right, so today what we're doing is we're trying to do, not trying to, we are gonna do it no matter what, farm sink. So we have a little bit of an issue. That thing's way too big for even this cabinet. So we're just gonna have to modify it. Obviously it's a little bit of extra work, but we're two hours away from home. So we're gonna get it done come hell or high water. So first thing obviously we're going through and cutting the cabinet at the front. I'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna to have to cut those walls in the back. It's not gonna impede any functionality of the dishwasher or this cabinet. You're not even gonna see it from this side because we're only taking away the inner walls of the sink cabinet. So let's get on it, let's have some fun. Man, get out of here. Now, <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this. All this tile work. Ben, but why? No way. All right, success. So obviously this is gonna need to get fixed, but the sides. Our perfection. I cut straight, but the sink's a little bit curved, a little bit of silicone. Perfectly flat. So these slabs, these things are like 15, 20 pounds. They're made from carbon fiber, super light. That's what you got to tell yourself. Okay, ready? Okay. All right, so this being a farm sink or apron sink, whichever one you want to call it, the reason why it sticks out this much is because it's got to stick past the bullnosing or the lamination of the stone. Now, our stone is 26 inches. So if you look at it, if we go all the way to the wall, that stone should end inside the sink. And it's preferably to end it before the curve because this curve is going to be very difficult to cut. So if you look at it, the stone is gonna go over it like that. Obviously the stone is gonna turn right here. So that's what we gotta mark out right now. The reason why we're trying to do an inch, usually I would like to do like an inch and a quarter or inch and a half, is because this area is narrow already. Now the reason why we're chalking it is because this wall is so curved. I need to take that in consideration because if I just cut stuff, then this piece will be going this way and this piece will be going that way, they won't meet up. See, so we're losing about half an inch right here and then we gain it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this to length, take out this half inch bow, throw it on here and then throw on this piece and then we'll mark out how our sink needs to be cut out. Let's go. A lot of 
sometimes these sinks they're casted but they're not perfectly straight so take that in consideration so as you can see i marked this out it's hard to see obviously it's black i can see it though camera doesn't pick it up so next thing i want to do is i gotta match these corners so what i do is i use my bits to match it and then you want to match this corner to be the same i'm gonna mark it right away this is gonna be twisted this is gonna be cut straight so i got this marked out that marked out so now let's take it outside beautifully tight that is now obviously this is not polished out completely because this is black quartz you got to add a little bit of edger into it to give it that dark dark look because when you polish it you dry it out because all of this has a lot a lot of um, sealer in it so once you seal that it look the same we're all good to go so as you can see the seams are absolutely perfect it's tight around the sink you know we have max of a 16 inch gap and we got a beautiful overlap as you can see it's equal throughout before it starts curving we make that bullnose with that curve all right it starts curving about back here so it'd be better to have this lamination start back here a little bit more which kicks the sink out but I had no room so as you could see I actually had to almost curve these edges in to make it look nice uh, but I mean it looks fantastic I think they're gonna be very happy with it hopefully well they have to be but let's continue. The one thing we got left is obviously we got to seam this thing together and we got these two pieces and the kitchen's done. All right, we're all finished up with this thing. I think it turned out fantastic. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below and I'll answer as quickly as possible. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching, AC Bill.